welcome to another Dark Nook video. This is Gorilla Glue. This is my hairy arm. I made another video like this, but some people in the comments were saying that there wasn't enough of my actual hair in the glue. So I did another video. Look at what I'm doing for you here. I am coating my arm with Gorilla Glue. Please like and subscribe and click that bell notification so you'll know when new videos come out. And you'll notice when you spray a heavy amount of this glue, it comes out pretty thick. There's a lot of air bubbles. It comes out in almost a paste-like consistency. So I'm going to spread it around to make sure it gets into all this hair. And you'll notice within a few seconds, it's already getting tacky and difficult to move. Gorilla Glue achieves its permanent bond within about 10 minutes. Faster if you dry it with a blow dryer or a heat gun. In this case, I'm using a heat gun. I'm also going to speed this up, but the elapsed time was about 5 minutes. You'll notice it starts to change color as it dries. Gorilla Glue dries clear for the most part, but the way I put this on, there's some bubbles in it. Now it's already getting tacky, but it's still not completely dry. And I want to make sure it's really matted into the hair on my arm. It's still not completely dry, but it's very tacky and it wants to stick to the glue that's on my hand. So I'm drying it some more with the heat gun. The heat gun is very hot and it's not meant to be used on your skin. So I'm doing it from a bit of a distance. That's why it's off camera. Now you notice at this point it's pretty much dry, but it still does want to stick to the glue that's on my fingertips. It's actually pulling some of the glue that's on my fingertips off my fingers. And this is Goo Gone. This is the material that removes Gorilla Glue extremely easily. Now I put a lot of Gorilla Glue on my arm. So this is going to take more than one application of Goo Gone. So the first pass, I just try to saturate it and wipe off the majority of the glue. I try to get the Goo Gone into the places that are all matted with glue and then just rub it in. Now you'll notice I did have a little bit of hair come off when I tried to pull out that booger of glue. And now I'm just kind of scratching the surface lightly to pull the glue out of the hair. There's still some glue around the edges, and there's still some glue in matted bits of hair. But the glue itself, the adhesion to the skin has broken down. Now it's just sticky boogers of glue that are still caught in the hair. What I have to do now is apply some more Goo Gone and just rub it in one direction across my arm to straighten the hair out and pull 
the glue out of the hair. And lastly, I use 99% isopropyl alcohol just to get all the goo gone off of my arm. Now goo gone is a skin irritant. You'll notice that there's a little bit of redness. After you're done with the alcohol, you want to be sure to thoroughly wash the area with soap and water just to make sure you don't have any of the uh, solvent left on you. Because if you leave Goo Gone on the skin for an extended period of time, it can actually damage the skin. So you want to limit its use to short durations of only a few minutes and then wash it off. And for the most part, all the glue is removed. There's still some little sticky bits here and there. It's not really bonded to the hair or to the skin anymore. It's just kind of caught in the hair. So you can just pretty easily pluck it out without pulling the hair out. And as you can see, my hair is intact and it's not coming out. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below.